Every Christmas during the holidays, my family gathers around the television to watch that classic movie, It's a Wonderful Life. The great Jimmy Stewart plays an ordinary man named George Bailey, and George Bailey is given the chance to see what the world would have been like without him. And in that same spirit, we should ask the question, where would Troy University be today without the generosity of our private donors? Indeed, there's never been a better time to invest in Troy University. We have the best students, the best faculty and staff, and the most beautiful campuses in Alabama. And we couldn't have done it without extramural dollars. I believe that quality will sustain us, but quality is not cheap. And private dollars are crucial to Troy in a time of dwindling state support. For comparison, in 2008, 11 years ago, we received over $62 million from the state of Alabama in state appropriations. Today, 11 years later, that number is down to $52 million. Private giving funds almost a million dollars each year in scholarships for deserving students. And in an era when aggregate student debt for more than 45 million Americans in this country is approaching $1.5 trillion, we can't overestimate the importance of extending a helping hand financially to our students. And the beauty of our campuses is tied directly to private giving. Wonderful facilities like the Claudia Crosby Theater, the Newman Center, the Janice Hawkins Cultural Arts Park, and the International Arts Center are just a few examples of the impact private giving has on our buildings and grounds. And I want to thank you, our valued alumni, donors, and friends who support our mission at Troy University. But let me reassure you of something very important. We take stewardship very, very seriously. Our team works hard every day to justify the faith that you have placed in us and in this great university. Go Trojans. I was like, is this really happening? It was just like a dream to come to the States and come here alone and study. But then after that, it was turning into a reality. And I was kind of scared, but I was really excited and happy because without scholarship, it would not be possible. Because of you guys, it is possible to come here and pursue higher education. It's so much more than just money. That's usually what people like at scholarship for. It's so much more than money to me. It's that sense of belief. Someone, whether it's a total stranger or someone that I know, is like, you believe in me and I thank you. And now I have the confidence to believe in myself and then also move forward and help someone else find that same type of confidence within themselves. It's an incredible feeling to know that there are people out there investing in our future. But when you can get people in the community and people out there who've been part of the Troy family behind you, it just makes makes all the difference. It, it's, it's about something more than yourself. I just can't say thank you enough to those people. It really means more than I can put into words. There's very few things that you could do to help a person more than helping them get an education. People ask me all the time, why do you give so much to Troy University? I could give everything I own to Troy University and I would have gotten more from Troy University than I would have given them. I think we all owe a duty to give back, especially those of us who went to school here and benefited from the greatness of this university and the faculty members and the staff and that, that, that spent their time educating us. We got more than we paid for and we need to give some of that back. It's just something about Troy. Everything about it is first class. I would encourage everyone that's attended Troy, whether they graduated from Troy or not, just to come back and visit the place. You'll have a feeling that's sort of like a bonding with them when you come back. And, um, you know, just contribute, whether it's your time, your efforts, and if possible, your money. We're a family. Troy is a family and we need to support ourselves. And I think that I get so many students who are the first generation to graduate from college. Okay, so if your child is the first college graduate, what a great way to recognize that by giving a scholarship in their name or making a donation and giving that opportunity to other people. We're the big winners here because we get to donate some money. 
which we're blessed to have, but for years we get to see the joy that, that it will bring students that have a once in a lifetime perhaps opportunity. The joy that Kate and I feel in being able to help kids is a lot greater than the cost of, of being able to do it. And the, the great thing is you don't have to you know, give a million dollars, you can start off small. I mean, any donation will help. We set the example when we demonstrate the behaviors that we want to see practice among us. I've watched a family from Birmingham, Mac and Joan McClendon and their family help over a hundred kids go to college here and do things for this university and things like that. Seeing people give from their heart and give out love helps motivate me to step up and give as well. That's just paying it forward and, and hopefully that they will go on through their life and impact other people in the same way maybe that we help them along the way. I think it's important that if you're blessed, I think it's up to all of us to give back. I can't say enough about the fact that our family's gotten a whole lot more out of this, I think, than the students have. You've made a difference in my life. Thank, Thank you. you.